Hey, what's up everybody and thank you guys for tuning into this video. My name is Robert Chambers and I'm here to provide you guys with lifestyle, finance, and mindset advice. So a little bit about myself if you're new to the channel. Um, I have about 6K, around 6K in multiple stocks in uh, Robinhood. I have now 7K in my M1 finance portfolio and I have $5,000 invested with Cardone Capital. And I'm 20 years old, so that brings me to about uh, 19K invested. Today I really wanna talk about M1 Finance and why I'm making the switch over from Robinhood. And if you've noticed and been keeping up with my channel, I haven't posted in a little while, that's because I've been trying to transfer my funds from Robinhood over to M1 Finance. And so it takes a few days for the cash to settle once I sell the stock in Robinhood. Then it takes a few days for it to transfer into my bank account. And then it takes a few days for my bank account to transfer the money into my new M1 Finance account. And then it takes till the next day to buy the stocks to put into my portfolio. So as you can see, it's been taking a little bit of time, but I'm almost done with all the movements of money. And then after this, it's just gonna be a consistent flow of money through automatic deposits and dividend reinvestment. So to start things off, Robinhood is a really good app, you know, it makes it really simple to invest. It's really easy. You can do it on your phone. It's all simple, all laid out for you. Um, gives you a lot of different options too, to show you information, etc. And not only this, but it's commission free and uh, fee free. So you're basically using a great platform for the freezies. You're investing in the stock market for free. It's great. It's dope. But on the other hand, Robinhood is just an app. You know, there's nothing more to it. There's not a website, anything like that. You know, I hope that they're trying to make a website in the future, but just the information that they provide and like all the details that you have to get can only be done on your phone. And uh, I'm on my computer a lot. I'm on a lot of different stuff a lot. And I like having the ability to look at it, you know, on a website and hopefully be able to see more information. Like obviously when you're looking at your, your banking app on your phone, you don't have all the same abilities that you do when you go onto the banking website on your computer or laptop. You know, you see a lot more information, you can do a lot more stuff and stuff like that. And so that that was a really big factor for me and you know, not wanting to continue my investing with Robinhood. So now comparing Robinhood to M1 Finance, you know, M1 Finance has a great app and it's got the website with a ton of information on there as well. But for the main reason why I switched from M, uh, Robinhood to M1 Finance is because of their dividend reinvestment program. So first off, they offer fractional shares. So fractional shares is when you can spend a dollar or $10 and you can get $10 worth of the stock. So let's say I have $10 and I want $10 worth of Amazon. Usually you can't buy that. You, you know, uh, a stock of Amazon is like $1,800 right now. And with $10, you can't buy that on most apps. But M1 Finance offers fractional shares. So basically they will buy you know, the whole stock, they'll spend 1800 for a share of Amazon, and then you give them $10, and then they give you the fraction of that, and now you own some of it. Um, and so this also uh, correlates with dividends. So if you own, you know, a fraction of the stock, then you're gonna get a fraction of the dividends. Something like this is really important because with my goals with dividend investing and stuff like that, when you're at a low amount of money uh, or really any amount of money, sometimes you get dividends that are between zero to $10, you know, zero to $20. Um, so you can't really reinvest that money uh, on Robinhood. So if I got a, a dividend of, of, you know, 20 bucks, I would need to wait a little bit or I'd have to buy something that's, you know, $20 or less. And that's really unfortunate when you're trying to compound your money as soon as possible. So right when I get paid more money, I wanna be putting that money to work right away. And with fractional shares, with M1 Finance, they offer that. Um, but this really isn't the selling point with M1 Finance because Robinhood is offering uh, fractional shares in the future. I'm not, I have no clue when it's gonna come out or anything like that but that's not really what was great about M1 Finance and really pushed me to make the switch. It is so easy to make a portfolio with M1 Finance. So if you wanted to copy my Robinhood portfolio, you would ha I would have to not only show every single thing, uh, you know, how many stocks of it I bought, I had to click on each one on my phone, screen record, which isn't that easy. But here with M1 Finance, literally you can copy my portfolio with the same uh, allocations of percentages and everything in just a click. 
and I think that's amazing because personally, uh, I don't have time to look into so much different stuff for all these stocks. You know, when is a good time to buy all, all this, etc. What what is the best diversified portfolio? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look at someone else's YouTube channel who's got way more subscribers than me and spends way more time looking at this stuff and might have a little bit more knowledge than me. And I'm just gonna copy and paste his portfolio into mine and then I'm gonna make uh, my own tweaks to where, with my knowledge, I think uh, I'll benefit more. So, for example, what I'm showing you guys here is uh, my diversified portfolio on M1 Finance. So as you can see here, I have $4,201 in. Um, just this morning, uh, we had our 4K drop in, so I'm trying to make a video right now. So we can see here in the activity, it's so beautiful. So beautiful, this app. So four grand went in, boom. It took that four grand and split it across my 52 uh, stocks in my portfolio. So as you can see here, how much money it spent on each thing. Uh, Apple, $48. As you can see, different different numbers for different percentages that I allocated. So to get a better understanding of this, we're going to look uh, right here in our portfolio. And then we're going to look at our passive income portfolio. So as you can see here, we have... Um, a very diversified portfolio uh, in all the different sectors of uh, stocks. So we got the real estate sector uh, having 40%, uh, bonds, finance, and utilities at 10%, telecom at 8 consumer at 6%, healthcare at 5 industrials at 4 tech at 4 and energy at 3 So what this means is like if I have $100 and uh, I put it into my portfolio and so if I had $100 and I put it into my portfolio, 40% of that would go into my real estate sector. So in that case, it would be $40. But now, just by that self, you know, that's beautiful. It does it all automatically and uh, it's really simple and easy. But now what takes this one step further for a diversified portfolio is this. So in my real estate sector, look, I have six different holdings all with their own percentages towards it. So now that for, of that $40, 22% of that would be going into Realty Income Corporate. And that percentage there is, um, that would be $8.80. And 80 cents. So with my $40 going into real estate, $8.80 of that went into Realty Income Corporation, which is just, beautiful you know these are all you know top you usually in your portfolio you'd have you know what stocks you think are going to be going up and you want a lot of stocks because you want to diversify if i just had one real estate stock here um it could go up and it could go down um and it could it could have a fallout but when i have six here the chances of all six having a fallout uh, just aren't that high and that's why diversification is uh, really important now, real quick here, uh, while I'm here at real estate, I wanted to tell you guys why I've allocated 40% of my portfolio into real estate dividend companies. So the reason why I did this is for one main reason, and that is taxes. So you have to pay taxes in stocks, whether that's uh, whether you're getting uh, taxed on the dividends that you get um, or on your capital gains. So you're only taxed on capital gains when you sell, but that's gonna happen uh, eventually. And both dividend and capital gains are taxed at 15%. So whatever you made, whatever the profits were, you gotta get 15% of that away to the government. But the beauty of real estate sector and REITs, they're called, um, they're not taxed off of a certain percentage of 15%. They're taxed off your income. So if your income isn't gonna be that high, uh, your tax income like me, uh, I'm probably not gonna be paying any taxes. So 40% of my portfolio is gonna grow tax-free for you know the next year, hopefully. Um, the, the, the year after this, I'm probably gonna have to you know pay some more taxes, but it's probably gonna still be less than 15% that I'd be paying if they were in other stocks uh, with capital gains or dividends. Um, so yeah, so the reason why I like M1 Finance so much is because investing should be easy. Like it should not be hard. Uh, day trading is hard. That takes a lot of knowledge. It takes a lot of skill. It takes a lot of looking. It takes a lot of waiting. It takes a lot of time, most importantly. And the goal is not to, you know, add more time to your life, and add more thoughts to your head to think about. It's just supposed to be 
easy, simple. And that's why I love M1 Finance so much because basically it's on autopilot, you know? Once you get a nice port diversified portfolio like this that you can just copy and paste, all you're doing is going right here, deposit, typing in a number, however much you can do, uh, switch to a recurring schedule. So you go from your bank account to here, select how, select how much often you want to do it, the day of the month, you know, when you want to do it, and boom, it's going in instantly. Um, it's just so simple. And it's and that hundred dollars or whatever amount that you put in is gonna be diversified between all these different stocks that you that you have here. Uh, so as you can see here, we just have all 52 holdings with these uh, different amounts here. And you can see here, this is called pie investing, right? So this is a, a pie here, and this is 40% of the pie. You know, this is 10%, 10%, 10%, and it goes down, obviously. <coughs> and it's just so beautiful being able to sort of like budget your investing uh, according to what you wanna put it in. Uh, and so also another beautiful thing about this is the what it shows here. So like gain, so I haven't been in this long. So as you can see here, I've only gained 78 cents in market gains. And I've also got seven cents in earned dividends, but I'm not sure what I got that from. I don't think it's completely processed yet, uh, but I will be see that in the future. And you'll see in the future, this just go up. Uh, the earned dividends will go up and we'll just have it on a, a period of time. So. You know, in this month, I could see right here, go down and I can see exactly how much I've earned this month and how much dividends I've earned. And we can go from a month to month basis, a week to week basis and stuff like that. And it's going to be really beautiful seeing all these dividend, uh, seeing all these dividends be paid and also seeing the snowball effect that happens. So as you can see here, this is called dividend snowball for a reason. Uh, you'll see, I promise, three months, four months, five months time, you will see just each month just continually increase of dividends that I'm getting, which is called passive income, you know? The goal of this is to increase my passive income. How much money can I get each month from uh, my investments that really could go into my pocket? I could spend, I could do whatever. I don't have to lift a finger to make this money, you know? That's the beauty of passive income. And that's what you guys should be going for because even if it's not a ton of money, uh, this is gonna grow over time. And as you can see here, if you had 10% uh, um, if you had five grand invested in the stock market after 30 years time at a 10% rate of return, which is the average here, you'd be having a portfolio of 87 grand. So would you trade your five grand for 87 grand in the future? And that 87 grand would be making you 8,700 a year in passive income. I don't know what else to say. I know I sure would, but now to uh, complement the beauty of dividend investing and why it is so important. So why I did this and why dividend in reinvestment is so important, um, you don't have to do anything and you're gonna reap the rewards of passive income. And the best way to invest in the stock market is through dividend investing. Did you know that 95% of the stock market investing investment is through reinvested dividends. So you have 100% of the stock market here and only 5% of the money going into the stock market is from people's new money, new cash going back in. 95% of that is through people's dividends that they get each month, each week, whatever it is, going back into the market. So you can see how important that is. Did you know that Warren Buffett earns hundreds of thousands of dollars every second? because he owns huge amounts of stocks and companies like Coca-Cola, which pay high dividends. Did you know that the average growth with the S&P 500, as you can see here, is 10% annually, which would translate to $87,000 in 30 years? And now, did you know that if instead you didn't invest in regular stocks and you invested in dividend stocks, that would be around 12.5% a year? And right here, I'm gonna show you the difference that would that, that would make so your 5,000 in 30 years at 10% rate of return would equal 87 grand in 30 years. But now at a 12.5% uh, return rate, we'll calculate it again. Oh. Error, error, whatever. Hello? Why is my internet not working? As you can see down here. Whatever, it's I have it written down right here. It's $171,000. That's almost double the amount that you had. 
So for 5K now, you could have $171,000 stock portfolio, which would be producing you around $21,000 a year in passive income. You don't have to lift a finger. Like, I don't know what else there is to say about it. You know, that's that's the power of compound interest and dividend reinvestment. Your five grand is slowly going to increase over time. Let's look right here since we still have this one being able to be pulled up and all the information here. I don't know why my Internet's not working, but it'll work soon. So look right here. This shows uh, what the balance is looking at each year, right? So unfortunately, this isn't the 12.5% one, but look right here. So, all right, all right. Well, we're going to have to look. The recording stopped. No worries. We're back. So we're going to have to look a little farther down to see uh, when stuff really starts getting beautiful, right? So right here. So yeah, here in the 26th year, Uh, so right here in the 26th year, you're going to be getting each year the amount that you put back in, which is uh, insane. So imagine in 26 years from now, taking your five grand and now you're getting 5k a year like shit. But as you can see here, you see, you see the first year, it's going to be $500 in interest that you're going to make. But the second year, this is compound interest right here. You're going to get $550 with no additional contribution. Then the next, then the next year, 605, 665, 732, 805, 885, 974. As you can see, it starts snowballing. That's the snowball effect right there. And it's really even more beautiful when you have additional contributions of, let's say, you want to see right here? Let's say $5 every month, right? Oh my God, no internet. My fault, boys. But anyways, yeah. Uh, yeah, as you guys can see, the power of compound interest and dividend reinvestment is just insane, okay? So now, uh, to finish this video off, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you're new, please drop the sub, please drop the likes, uh, please drop a comment, any questions you guys got. You know, I'm here to help you guys, I'm here to try to inform you guys with as much information as possible. Um, even though I copied someone else's portfolio, doesn't mean I don't know what's good. You hear me? So, um, if you haven't already, I, ha I also have a podcast. It's mostly the audio versions of these videos, but they're going to be uh, much more unique and different coming in the future. So, if you haven't already checked those out, please do. I also have uh, TikToks and stuff. Make sure to follow all my social medias shown here. Um, and if you guys haven't already, if you learned from this video or became inspired, to start your investment journey, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I already said that, but thank you. Have a great day. And look forward to, in the future, giveaways. You already know. I'm not giving you away an iPhone. I'm not giving you away. Uh, I'm not giving you tangible. I think that's the word, even though money is tangible, too. Uh, like, objects that aren't cash. Everything else that isn't cash. So, like, people give away that stuff all the time. You know, iPads, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But you know what I'm going to give you? I'm going to give you cash. Okay, and you know what I want you to do with that cash? I want you to set up an account and invest it. And hopefully that you'll start seeing the growth take on. Uh, I hope that you start seeing the power of it because uh, you'll slowly see over time, even if you added no money of your own and I gave you a hundred bucks, you'd see in the future that uh, you were stupid and you should have started adding more money as long as you kept it in there and, and, you, and you watched it, you know, every, every here and there you watched it. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I hope more videos are coming out soon. They will be. Uh, let me know if you guys like this angle because I like being able to... Oh, and let me know if you like all the format of this video. You guys are going to see my screen and stuff. Uh, and I feel like this is helping me a lot. If you guys noticed, I've done this all off the top of my head pretty much. I do have my script here to the left guiding me here. Um, but yeah, this is all off the top right now, man. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Peace.